DJ gossips <laughs> that the current in-play demon is a leech. Bruce gossips the demon is Mullybach, Katie, or Justin. And Ryback gossips that Bruce is fucking naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> So we're starting tonight with a script by our good friend, Emma. And that script is called Ozymandias, I Did It 35 Minutes Ago. Shouts to one of the all-time masterminds in literature, um, a.k.a. Ozymandias. Uh, this script features mastermind, but you'll notice you'll notice that there is a big, giant uh, mastermind symbol next to the leech. Navian. <laughs> Uh-huh. This script this jinx is complicated. Um Yeah. So uh here's how this works, guys. Uh the mastermind is jinxed with the leech, and you probably can imagine that it's a little bit weird, but there's a reason for it. And the reason being is because Oh hey, thank you, Kev, for the 18 months. That is true. That's as long as it takes to make twins. That's not right. That's not how biology works. <laughs> That's not how twins work. Yeah. Um, leech and Mastermind have a jinx, and that jinx is that if the Mastermind is alive and the leech's host dies by execution, the leech lives but loses their ability. And you just sit there and uh -huh. you think about it for a second, and you're like, huh? So I've explained this, and I'm going to explain this to the players, but the way that I would rule this, basically, is that if a leech host dies by execution, and the mastermind is alive, it says the leech lives but loses their ability. So here's how I rule it. I rule it, and I believe this was the intent of the jinx, which is that the leech dies, like properly dies, but registers as not having died to everyone other than the mastermind, so that we can get a mastermind day with the leech being dead but appearing as alive. Yeah, it, so... It's it's kind of like um, a zombul, but in reverse sort of yeah. thing, where you like you register as alive instead of you register as dead, um, but actually you're dead instead of actually you're alive. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Math. I appreciate your understanding of our way of ruling it. it, it the, I mean, it just it makes the most sense in that. Okay, how how do we make it so that the leech and the mastermind can work harmoniously? Well, if a leech host dies, the leech needs to die. But if the leech dies, and two pe and a person is executed after the leech host, or a pe person dies after the host is executed, and the game hasn't ended yet, that kind of gives away the fact that it's a mastermind day. So how do you yep. fix that problem? You make it so that the leech doesn't appear to have died. Yeah. It's just the way that makes the most sense. You just hide the fact that the leech is dead, despite the fact that they are actually dead. You go into the night, yeah. the leech doesn't kill anybody, you wake up the next day, it appears that the leech is still alive, but, you know, so obviously you go leech, mastermind, assassin. Well, here's the fun thing about that. The classic fan. BMR setup of mastermind, exactly. assassin. Uh, which, by the way, Bulletifan, Finn, thank you for joining, and thank you for proving that you're not a bot, smile. The... <laughs> Emma, Emma, when putting the script together, basically said, so wait, what if there's a barber swap? Can we have another mastermind day at that point? Like, if they kill the barber who's the host? Or, like, could a barber just be killed by an assassin in the night and then we get a new master, a new leech, which means another mastermind? And we're like, yeah, okay, sure. And then it's like, well, what if we pit hag the mastermind or pit hag the leech into another uh, demon? And then they die, it becomes a mastermind day, but the pit hag then makes a new demon that night so that we have another Mastermind Day when that demon dies. And that's when we were just kind of like, uh, okay, sure, there could be multiple Mastermind Days, I suppose. The stars have to align very heavily for that to happen, but in essence, yeah, the script kind of was built around the idea that theoretically, there could be multiple Mastermind Days. Now, is that going to be how this ends up playing out? Eh, we'll see. Um, we do have to craft a game after all, and I do think that one of the best ways that we can do that is by figuring out, do we actually want a leech or not? Um, that's the first question. Yes. After so much preamble, I kind of feel like we have to, right? We have to try this leech mastermind bullshit. Uh, I would like to say that Buttspot says master butts all the way down. Thank you, Buttspot. Um, Buttspot knows what's up. I mean, 
we could also do Fangu and no mastermind. Yeah, and make them uh, concerned about the the leech mastermind thing. Do the do a heckin' concern. Uh, Fangu could kill themselves. Trigger a mastermind egg. Uh, no, mastermind is specifically. Oh, by execute. Executed. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, master uh, Fangu could. Yes, Fangu can basically cause themselves to be executed for that to happen. Yeah. Um, there's a lot on this script that could cause that exact situation to happen. Um. I like the idea, I mean, listen, every pretty much every Mastermind script we ran into had a Tinker on it. There's really no surprise when it comes to <laughs> yeah. that. I mean, Tinker kind of just... Another classic combo. It really is. Um, I feel like if we just do, like, Fangu, Mastermind, Pit Hag, I guess Pit Hag could be fun on this script, or in this game... Maybe we put a puzzle master. No, because if we put a puzzle master in, eh, then it means. But there's a damsel that can hide. The damsel so, hides. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, I do have a question for you. Yeah. If uh, it is a mastermind day, or wow, well, you know, they you they, you go to the night phase because it's about to be a mastermind day, and then the pit hag changes themselves into a demon to keep the game going. So you have a living mastermind ah. and a living demon now yes how do you rule that next day is the mastermind's ability still being triggered or has it essentially shut off so the way that i've ruled the way that i've understood this and we're going to run into this question again the way that i've understood this is that basically you know the question then becomes like does the mastermind day go in perpetuity or does it end after a single mastermind day so, like, for example, the loss condition would be there to end the game, which is the demon being dead. You go into a mastermind day. But somewhere between then and the end of that day, the a demon comes back in and the mastermind isn't triggered anymore. If that happens, yeah. you good would be in a shitty situation because they need to execute exactly the demon for that to happen. And even still, the mastermind would trigger again? So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. The way that I would probably rule that, and I know that we have to think about... I know, C. Richard, I know. The way that we have to think about that is that basically I would say that the Mastermind would trigger and the Mastermind day goes for the course of a day. A single day. At the end of that day, that extra day, the game rechecks as to whether or not the loss conditions have been met. You know what so I mean? So what you're saying is... is a pit hag turns themselves into a demon. The game goes into a day. You're going to treat that day as an actual mastermind day. I'm thinking so. Should I not? So the the reason that you wouldn't is because the game would still end per the mastermind's ability saying that it does. Like the mastermind says that Ending the game. If, if players then executed, their team loses. Yeah, so the mastermind triggered because the first demon was executed and that would have ended the game, a pit hag changes themselves into a demon, which means that the game is no longer going to be ending, but the mastermind ability has already triggered. If you go into that next day, then if a player is executed, their team loses. So here's an easy way to fix that. We don't put the pit hag in the game. Uh, sure, that's that's one fix, yes. A but temporary fix, you're going to have to expect that players might ask this question. They need to know. know if a pit hag turns themselves into a demon, is the next day still a mastermind day and therefore could cause the game to end? Or uh, does the mastermind ability sort of shut itself back off because it's no longer meeting the check of the game ending? I would argue ugh, see, that's tough because i think it should still count i think it should still count as a mastermind day i think if it count I, I know it's it's rough but like it's the only way for the mastermind to actually do anything you know what i mean like they need so if they have this mastermind day after the pit hags turned themselves into a demon and mm -hmm. they don't execute does the game just therefore continue yes. because normally in a mastermind day of course the game ends because the demon is dead and nothing is keeping the game going so in this scenario, you would have the demon is dead, but there's now another demon keeping the game going. So I think I can agree on that. If you're going to run that the next day is a mastermind day, um, a team will lose and the game will end if somebody is executed on that day. Uh, but if nobody is executed, then the game just gets to continue. Correct. I think that that's the correct way to rule it. And, and, and the, the loss condition from the mastermind does not, again, go into perpetuity. It, it's not like for the rest of right, the yeah. game... 
that it only player, works on that particular day. Yes. Yeah. It only works on the, on the mastermind day. Yeah. Um, that said, I have Fangu assassin mastermind tinker damsel floating drunk, floating drunk on a, is drunk huntsman with a damsel actually in play too rude? No. Is drunk, mag drunk choir boy is actually pretty rude, isn't it? Yes. Okay. But like, they're all valid options. Right. You have to do it every now and then. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you have a script with drunk on it and you are resistant to making any of those characters the drunk like ever, um, you need to reconsider that. I'm fine. Some what of them you... will feel rougher than others. For example, a drunk mayor. Yeah, that feels bad, but sometimes you got to do it. We'll do drunk choir boy. Okay. How would that, I mean, how would that work? Basically, if the king dies, we just tell them something, or if any player dies, we just tell them who a fake demon is. Yes, uh, but if you want to, like, not give away that they're the drunk, you would wait for the actual king to die. That's true. I mean, you could also have a king die and not wake the choir boy at all and make it look like, yeah, you're the drunk, but the king is the fangu who jumped. Right. Uh, all right, so I currently need... Right now, I need noble pings. Um, I'd give king as a bluff with drunk choir boy. Nah, there's going to be an actual king. Oh, shouts to Emma. Emma had recommended uh, Travelers on this script. I love that. Nice. Um, Is Barber... I want to give Barber as a bluff. Okay. Because Fangu, I think, really does shine when there is, like, a known outsider that's not in play if Drunk is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It gives Evil an opportunity to either claim that outsider when they die to make it look like it's not been a fangu jump or, or there's no fangu or uh maybe one of the minions can take it so that late game they can look sus, sus instead of the actual demon uh i'm thinking for noble pings obviously i feel like assassin is probably the smartest one to give um of the evils and then i like oh i see malishan as an as a suggestion melibok and ryback so damsel as a noble ping i feel like is a little risky um Yes, Fudan is very weird with Mastermind. Yes, you are correct. Um, I just feel like Bruce could very easily soak up some sus. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Rez is Exorcist. I mean, Exorcists are generally not trusted, or at least from my experience. Depends on uh, how successful they are and how early they are successful. I'm okay with these setup. I think I'm fine with this setup as is. Sure. Okay, all right, let me just check something really quick on my fern. Okay, all right, let's do, let's do that. Okay, all right, seems good. Let's, uh, let's head back and get started. Hey. Hello, sure. everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm going to send you guys to sleep, and we will start day one. Okay, bye. 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 Go birds. Well. Hey, bye. why didn't it work? Good night. Uh, good did night, we not do? Everybody. We didn't do the thing, did we? <laughs> good night. Oh, yes, we don't yes, have yes. the. We don't We're have the current play. game roll now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> there you go. Now you can send us. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh, I can uncollapse night order. Oh God, people ended up two in two cabins. What happened? Okay, I think we fixed it. Nope, we didn't fix yeah. it yet. Now we did. Hello, I think we fixed it. <laughs> Jesus. I think we fixed it, guys. I think we get. I think we fixed it. Are you good, Rez? I'm. I'm fine. Okay. Cool. Uh, technical difficulties. Love it. All right. Sending out characters. All right. So, I think we should be all set. Uh, we're going to uh go and get our minions set up, and we should be good to go. Let's go to shade. Hello. Good morning. Evening. I push talk on. Sorry. I know. I was Hello. Uh, look at you. You're the mastermind. I am. It's a very fitting role. Yeah. Uh, I'm here to tell you that your fellow minion is Justin. And your Malachan? demon is Malachan. Okay. And also there's a damsel in play. All right. No magician. Got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Justin. Hello. 
Uh, I am here to inform you that your fellow minion is your neighbor, Shade, and your demon is Malishon. Awesome. Thank you. I'm also here to inform you that there is a damsel in play. Okay. All right. And that's it. Thanks. Thank you. Sticky red fingers. Yep. How'd you manage it? I don't know. Um, your bluffs are Oracle, Barber, and General. Okay. Your minions are Justin and Shade, and you are aware of the fact that Mullybach is the king. Okay. Thank you very much. All sounds good? Sounds good. Thank you very much. Hiya, Tamaya. Hello. I have some news for you. From your chandelier here, you see three people. Those three people are Bruce, Justin, okay. and mm -hmm. Resnora. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. And guys, that's the whole night. That's the whole night. It's a very, very short night one in this script. There's really not much happening. No, there's there's really not. <laughs> but on successive nights, it looks like almost every character goes. Like, a lot of them go. Yeah, some of them don't wake, at least, so that's helpful. But yeah, there's there's a lot going on on the other nights. Uh, Town Crier is not in play, and I think it was a really good idea to not give that as a bluff. Um... I think these minions need to be really concerned about there being a town crier in play, and I think it would it would make the game, I think, a little too a little too good favored for them to know that there's no town crier in play on this script. So um oh wow, you guys did bet big. Wow, look at that. Alright, um I'm looking forward to this game. I think that, you know, there may be some disappointment when there is no pit hag, but uh you know, it is what it is. We'll kind of go from there, and we'll see how the game goes. <laughs> the easiest way to avoid pit hag questions is to not put the pit hag in. That being said, we're still going to get a lot of pit hag questions. Probably, yeah. But at least yeah. we don't have to worry about making the decisions on stream. Correct. Yet. Depending, of course, on yeah. if there's another script that has pit hag and mastermind on it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's bring him back. Welcome to Ravenswood Bluff Chair Wholesaler Warehouse, where all the chairs, every chair, any chair you can possibly think of, is easily accessible and at really uh, great distributor pricing. However, the storytellers who run the Chair Emporium uh, they uh, they got a little lazy. They got to sitting on the job. They were trying out their wares while this all happened. And you know, one of these, some of these chairs are very comfortable. Uh, it means that during that time, a pair of really nice, comfortable, cushy chairs uh, were the host to the two storytellers in town, uh, a tomato and a goose. Um, and they just fell asleep on the job. Didn't even go home. They just fell asleep in the chairs in the middle of the chair emporium. And uh, the next morning, they are covered in red because both of us are dead. And uh, it goes to show that, obviously, whoever is uh, in charge of the chairs around here really needs to step up their security game and uh, figure out why a demon is going around fucking murdering people in their chairs. These were expensive chairs, guys. Like, this, you know, I guess the storytellers were disposable, but, like, the chairs were really expensive. So, yeah. You guys should probably figure out who's going to stop the chairs from uh, being uh, dirtied with blood. Um, and we'll be back in about ten minutes. And by the way, this is game one. There is a demon in play. Everybody figure out your shit. <gasps> Who is it? King Gil deconstructed. No, oh, I'm shocked. Fryback's claiming king. Fryback's king? Okay. Weird. It's a shock to no oh, one. <laughs> Whatever you up for. I'll match you. Okay, let's hard climb. Cool. General. Cool. I'm the magician. Nice. So go do magician y things, I guess. Um oh. I got slightly good, so could just be a general good starts off winning. Maybe the leech picked a crappy host. Uh, maybe that's about it. There's not much else that I can think would lean good more than a typical night on night one. I trust you. I think I trust you. I don't know. Do I trust you? I don't know, do you? 
Should I trust you? I mean, you should, but you don't usually, so it's fine. Mm, okay, well, like, this can only go terribly for me, and you're probably sleeping in the guest room tonight anyway because you're coughing so much. Uh, I, I'm not the, I'm not the magician, I'm the exorcist. Cool, nice. We'll get exercising, people. Try. Let's get physical. Oh, wait, wrong kind of exercising. (laughs) I mean, there's no, there's no reason it can't be both. Exorcise. Ayo. And everyone can understand what that means, Bruce. That's what would be fair. (laughs) No, that's fair. Do you want to say that again with chat here? Sure. No, I'll just, I'll sit back. (laughs) you support political rants on this stream? Um. Oh, uh, you just made the meta uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is it going to be bad? It's just going to be saying, I don't like how political terms get used in America. I don't like that liberal, a term that in the most of the world means right wing, means left wing for some reason, or that Republican, a word that in most of the world is associated with righteously chopping off king's heads, means conservative. This makes no sense to Meta. It makes no sense. My number one thing, and again, this is about the power of <laughs> words being defanged in 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 our country, is like when you see these news articles that are like, you know, uh, a top ISIS official has been found, has been, you know, killed in a drone strike, and then you go to find that it's like, you know, some lieutenant or something like that. It's like, no, you said top. Top. As in the <laughs> summit. The number one. This is the, that's what the word means. Top, actual top. Why are you taking that away? Why are you why are you dissolving the importance of that word? So yeah, that one bothers. Uh, I'm gonna head back to Town Square. Thanks Bruce, everybody. No, we should, we should talk about the game a little bit first. <laughs> okay. Well, I was hoping I would get to it, but didn't realize that this would take so much time. <laughs> anyway, Bruce, I'm the choir boy. What are you? I'm the king. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> this is everything that we needed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of really tempted to just get myself killed for the early um, you, Yeah, you we can and have and we'll do this. Yeah, are you the leech or fangu? I'm the fangu, so I can just kill myself, <laughs> or I can try and find an. No, you can't. No, you can. Oh, I, I mean, well, yeah, you can't kill yourself. We have to get you executed. Um. Yeah, yeah, I have to claim claim something that will get me executed, but. Yeah. Um. That's always an option. I, I mean, think I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll try and find an outsider for a day or two, and then I'll probably claim that I've been pit hagged into a barber and say yeah, we should that, execute him before the fangu jumps to me. That works, or. T- it's a weird split. Uh, I'm the real king. This happened again. For some reason, yeah. I think this is two shades in a row where game one, both you and Ryback claim king. Yep. And if this is the real one again. Jay, it's, it's probably you. I mean, sure I, I, I know Ryback plays this, Thanks, I know man. what he's doing. Mm-hmm. He's the he's the taker, right? Come on, I know. Uh, possible. I mean, he's he's asking for it, you know. Definitely possible. All right then. Okay. Uh, good luck. I'm gonna head out then. Yep. Okay. Cool. Fascinating. Um, Look, all it's right. It's not as spicy as Savant, but that's like... fair. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, you're a magician. I'm Savant. Uh, storyteller is here. I would like to get my information discreetly. Yes, I will politely asking, fuck off. So. I, I didn't ask you to fuck off. <laughs> hey, Demeda. Hello. Oh, I so would I... like to bluff Savant okay. by getting actual Savant information. All right, me. let me uh, find some fake information because you're drunk. Oh, shit. I let the cat out Uh-oh. of the bag. Oh, no. Oh, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. <laughs> okay, uh, your Savant info. Um, either there were no characters who started today drunk or poisoned or or okay there There are are no characters who started today drunk or poisoned or or there are no characters in play who add specific characters to the game interesting oh okay all right i'll take it awesome thank you you're very welcome them, all of the ones it's a little have, strong but math, but I think it's okay. Don't read your heart on day one. I don't know. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. you. It's you. You usually don't really get good social reads till uh, mm-hmm. at least day two. We can try pulling a Ryan. See how see if his questions are magical or something. I, I don't know. I've gotten pretty good at. I've gotten pretty good at fooling Ryan. But the the whole point of a magician is to get evil out to you. Exactly. But I you don't want... know if you're evil, so I'm leaving uh, leaving it open for you. Interesting. Okay, that's weird. But okay, we'll okay. go with it. Thanks. Thanks. 
right, yeah. cool. Later. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to do ones. Okay. Uh, general. General. Yep. Oh, what'd you get? Slightly good. Slightly good. Fascinating. Okay, cool. Um, I'm the king. Cool, I'll put you down. Yes, no need to keep that shit a secret. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Slightly good. Got Me, it. Ash, the first Thank statement you. was correct, Thanks. or the second statement was Good true. Time. The the choir boy and the uh, huntsman are the two characters that add specific characters to the game. Neither of them are in play. I will I'll claim the same two back. Okay. Um, do you want to give hypothetical information? Uh, yeah, sure. uh, uh, if I'm the general, I got slightly good. If I'm the noble, I got Emma, Bruce, and Resnora. Uh, well, I'm going to say that then if I'm the general, I also got slightly good. And if I'm the noble, I got Justin, Bruce, Resnora. So theoretically, if we were both telling the truth, we should know exactly what each other are. Uh, look, it's it's getting You're not slightly Dodo. more tolerable now that I'm that's, like halfway through it. But that's not a high bar. No, it's 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 gross. It's it's really gross. Uh, uh, Joe Jonas made a bad ring red sangria. That's yeah. okay. I would say I would avoid it, but I wasn't planning to drink it anyway. <laughs> but now you know, in case anyone ever offers you one, you know to say no. <laughs> to be fair, I don't like wine, but yes. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, I'd be willing, I'd be up for a decent amount of things, if you are, but... Alright, I will tell you either general or gossip. General or gossip, alright. I will tell you, uh, I, I nearly wrote gender role. Um, sorry, I just, apparently I'm just Shouts so used to, to typing gender. Roles. No, bad, gender roles can die in a hole. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying. Shouts to I know you know. Yeah, I, you know, I know. I know. You know that I know that you know. You said general and gossip. Yes. This says something about me that I wrote, that I just started typing gender. Um, I am either the oracle or the innkeeper. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. But you, I lied to you and you lied to me, so neither of us can be mad about it. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, Emma. I just want to know. <laughs> Look at that. We didn't have to drag anyone back. How about that? Uh, I got about 90 seconds, then I'm opening up nominations. Uh, Resnora will gossip that the demon is uh, in the top half of the grim from Bruce to Shade, uh, clockwise inclusive. Inclusive. Yes. I've heard. Um, Mo will gossip that there's a mastermind in pie. Nice. Heard. Justin. Alishan will gossip that there isn't. Sorry, you go, Justin. Oh, uh, Justin will gossip that. There is a leech in play. There's a leech in play. Thank you. Malishan will gossip. There is not a mastermind in play. Well, somebody's dying tonight. <laughs> Ooh, there are gossips in chat. Oh, thank you for reminding me that there are gossips in chat. Ryback gossips the demon is a leech. Bruce gossips the demon is between DJ and Ryback clockwise inclusive. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay, I can see it now. Thank you. Maya gossips. Go ahead. And Maya gossips there is a damsel in play. Thank you very much. Uh, Gibbo gossips that the minions in play are Godfather and Assassin. Thank you very much. Katie gossips that the gossip is a demon bluff. DJ gossips at least one of Malishan, Gibbo, and Mullybach is evil. I think that's everybody. Hopefully everybody gossiped. Nominations are open. Ryback nominates Bruce. Why? Double claiming me as king. Bruce, how do you feel? Uh, I can't wait to Uno reverse after this. We would need six for this to pass. Sorry, Bruce, are you claiming king? I am the one and only. He's also in a noble thing. Bruce oh, is in a triple claim of king, then, though really only a double claim, because Ryback is certainly does not count. But... Five is not enough. And Bruce nominates Ryback. Uno reverse, tell me why. Um, bow to your true king. Ryback? You're no king of mine, Bruce. Maybe he's Robert the Bruce. Nothing? Okay. We would need six Freedom. to pass. Glad somebody got it.
I'm chuckling. I just, you just will, you cannot hear me laugh over a microphone. I laugh nearly silently. Well, what fucking good is it, Shane? <laughs> if I'm in a noble ping, I would like you to will. You can see me are. laughing. Who are the other do. noble pings? Five is enough. Ryback's on the block. Second call. I might shit and a keep guessing while we all say the noble pings. Final call. I would like to gossip that I'm not in a noble ping. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Ryback. How would you like to die? Pickled to death. Uh, it's pickle Ryback. Ryback turned himself into a pickle, Morty, and in the you process died enough. because that would kill you. Everybody go to sleep. <laughs> oh, yes. I, re- I was I was about to tell everybody if you go to gifts and you type in pickle, the first thing you get is very Connecticut. It is very Connecticut. There it is. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, well, there goes the damsel guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Emma. Hello, Emma. Hello, Demeta. Hello, Navian. Please choose two players. Um, Mullabok and Bruce. And Bruce. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. I have dying in the night. Those seem like fair choices. Thank you, Res Nora. Hi, uh, Emma. What? I missed that completely. Emma, please. You are exorcising Emma. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Please choose a player. Bruce, please. You choose Bruce. Thank you very much. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Yeah, so uh, we're going to only have the one death tonight from the gossip. Yep. Um... Or we kill Gibbo, but probably we're just going to do a gossip kill. Um, provided, of course, that Justin doesn't kill somebody. Um, True, pretty... yes. We are currently sitting at one, but Justin could use his ability. Uh, they were making a plan to try to get Malishan executed to trigger the Mastermind early, so I, that's probably what they're going for. I'm thinking Justin's going to hold it, but not sure. I'm absolutely drunking the Savant, by the way. <laughs> that poor Savant. Hey, but listen, yeah, that makes sense. There's, yeah. Um, listen, they, that's the they, price you pay for being for, unkillable. Exactly. See, that's so good. Um, the gossip kill is Rez or Maya. If the gossip, if we gossip kill Rez, Malishan's dying because yes. Malishan, to, straight, Reznor is straight up hard claimed exorcist to Malishan. There's no way I'm killing yeah. Malishan with a gossip. However, or sorry, there's no way I'm killing Rez with a gossip. However, if Justin kills somebody, then maybe it's acceptable. Yeah, I think we need to wait and see what Justin does, and then, you know, we'll we'll think about our, our gossip options. You absolutely could kill Gibbo with the gossip, for sure. We could, yeah, but that's also a Fangu jump target. We're already down one outsider, so exactly. we gotta keep that in mind. Since Savant is drunk, just make Lorinda's info to living neighbors. Lorinda, what did you say? If Lyback dies, I like a player is sat between two outsiders or a player is sat between two minions. Player is sat between two outsiders. A player is sat between two minions. Huh. Yeah, so Bruce is sat yeah. between the two outsiders. Or I can say no player is... No, I'm not going to do that. A player is sat between two demons, Pog. No, that's not going to work. Let's go and find out what Justin wants to do. Okay. Would you like to use your ability tonight? I am going to hold off. Okay. I will check in with you tomorrow night, provided that you live. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, we have no other things to do tonight, so we can take a couple seconds to try to figure out who the gossip kill is going to be. Yeah. Um, I do think that Maya is a, a nice neutral kill there. Uh, Does Maya's it read too much like a gossip about kill, though? Being a noble, though, so that would be a weird yeah. demon kill. Exactly. Um, I'm kind of thinking, so if we're thinking not Resnora, because that might get Mal executed and... They were talking about potentially that being a plan, but I don't, you know, we want to leave them space to like pivot if they want. Um, we can't kill Molly or Bruce. Uh, Gibbo is a jump target, which that means, and so Emma is Katie. And DJ. It pretty much leaves Emma or DJ, Bing yeah. Bang. I think if we kill DJ himself, the issue there is that it could look like a demon attempting to get DJ out of the way because his gossip is actually true. Right. Um, and that, of course, you know, uh, it was Malishan, Mullabach, and who? 
Malishan, Mullybach, and Justin. No, sorry, it, with the Noble Pings? No, the uh, gossip. It was Malishan, Gibbo, and Mullybach. Correct. Okay, so all three of them are still alive, um, but it basically acts as almost like a second Noble Ping, right? Right. Um, so I think right now I would probably look to kill Emma. I was also leaning towards Emma myself. I think that that's the yeah. fairest option. Um, who did Mally pick? Val picked Bruce. So either Bruce is a, uh, either, well, actually, no, uh, Malishan's gonna know that, well, no, Malishan's not gonna know that the gossip is what killed. They could think it's a mare bounce. Uh, yeah. Which um, is funny. It depends on, it depends on whether they know for sure that DJ is a gossip or not. Right. But, uh, yeah, uh, so if we do kill Emma, then we do have our sober No, savant. that means we have to sober up the savant. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, um, so... Let's come up with some info. Uh, if we kill Emma, Bruce does not die because the demon chose to kill before the gossip happened. So Correct. Emma would have been alive at the point, and, and thus protecting Bruce at the point where the demon chose him. How do you feel about saying Town Crier is a demon bluff as a, fake of fit, a bit of fake info? That's spicy. Um, what would we pair it with? Um, and also, there... is anybody claiming Town Crier? Not yet, no. Okay, then that might when that might end up being obviously the false one if nobody claims it. I mean, yeah, sure. There's there's the world where somebody just went off script instead of taking it. But how about there is one character still alive that can cause someone's character to change, which is Huntsman Barber Pit Hag. Okay. It would seem very strange that none of those are in play, but that's our bit of false info. Why not kill Maya with the gossip? It seems a little too obvious. Yeah, that's that's kind of why. Okay, so what's our other piece of info? Um, How about a Clockmaker 2? Uh, we have to give a true bit of info. Um, Chef 1 is way too damning. We can't do that. Yeah. Oh, Fangu changes character too. Yes, so right now it's just the Fangu. Right. Well, I was going to say, if we did... I was... Sorry, I was completely forgetting about Fangu. Alright, so then it would be... To the, so the exactly... There is a player... There is one player alive whose character... There is one character alive that can cause a player's character to change. That's actually true. So then the false one... The false one can be a clockmaker too, then. Sure. Uh, Bruce was drunk, but then we killed Emma. So Bruce isn't drunk anymore. Yeah. All right, let's go with that. So we're going to do... Uh, there's exactly one character in play that caught... No, because that, that, they're going to know that that one makes... That that feels like it's the true statement. we got to come up with something even more outrageous. I... No, I think this is fine. You think it's fine? I think it's fine, yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's go with it then. All right, let's send them back. Hello, town. Uh, Shade has asked a question of the town, which I will just give a quick explanation to. Uh, the jinx, uh, the jinx that, the way that I would run it, and Emma, you can feel free to disagree with me, but I mean, this is basically the same way. It just achieves the same end, which is that if a leech host dies by execution and the mastermind is sober, healthy, and alive in play, the next day is a mastermind day, and when the host is executed, the leech in, in basically does the opposite of a zombul, which is where they actually die, which would end the game and therefore trigger the mastermind, but they appear to be alive. That way you don't know when you execute the host that you actually killed the demon. I think that's the way that makes the most sense. Even if the leech host was the leech. Even if the leech host was the leech. Well, yeah, it would be the same way. Yeah, so basically what we're saying is that the jinx supersedes the fact that the okay. leech's ability is drunk. All right, that works. Yeah. In I essence, mean, the chances that we need that don't matter. Uh, in other news, um, Emma is dead. And I'll give you guys, eh, let's say, eight minutes, top of the hour. Interesting. Oh, no. Horrible. Delicious. That's there's there's a certain we're, we're, there's a certain danger that comes with being the script author. It's true. Oh, I die right on right my right scripts right? all the time. Right I die on most of mine as well, oh, so that tracks. And I want to talk. So which outsider were you? I was the huntsman. I used it on night one on Mollybuck. Oh. What? Okay. So what are you, DJ? Because I think you lied to me on day one. 
I was like, I'm the gossip. That's a double claim, DJ. Ooh, who is who is the evil bastard? Technically, uh, I... it's like a Quinn. It's like a, a die diehesodecimal claim because everyone gossiped yesterday. That is fair, but only one person has the ability to kill with their gossip. I know that's not a word. Me. And you didn't kill. Uh, I don't know what Emma was, but that's weird. Yeah, I have. I have. I don't understand her either, so I don't know. Lollipop Rocks hmm. Ray, hello. Well, um, self nomming that doesn't sound like me. Did you have anything you want to share? I'll I'll give you a two. Sure, I'll do that. Okay, I am either the gossip or the general. Well, yeah, yeah. You, sure. you know how to. You're a you're you're a veteran. You know. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and I missed it. Mal and I kept Mal and I both kept jumping into the same channel even though we're trying to talk to other people and then we both at the same time moved away from the channel that we were in to go to a different channel and like it went back and forth like three or four times. It was great. It was pretty funny to watch. That's why we're married, we think alike. <sighs> Alright, what's up? Okay. Okay. Um, so we have a pet hag. What? <laughs> um, Malishan did not start the game as the barber. Malishan is now the barber, which suggests it's a fangu and that Malish and Malishan wants to die today. Malish okay. And which is weird. Um, that is weird. So I, I think this is good. Okay. Works for me. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Stop leaving me with no conversations to jump into. Hey. Sure. Wow, I guess they didn't want to come see you. I guess Sylveon didn't. Big sad. Yeah, Maybe they pretty... misunderstood. Yeah, I mean, so we're gonna we're gonna see how this game goes. All right. Oracle. Gossip or the Oracle? Well, I am either the Huntsman or the Gossip. Okay. Okay, well, our Gossips don't appear to have done anything unless we've got some protection. Uh, Seemingly. But if I'm the Oracle, I got a zero. Yeah, I believe that. And if I'm the Huntsman, I haven't picked anyone. Okay. I'm gonna head out then. All right, good chat. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm probably it's up gonna, to you. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hard claim the role, but not the information. That's um, fair. I'm not sure I'm so confident doing that. I've hard claimed to one person, okay. me, and I'm I like, am the, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I am, I am the aforementioned noble. You are the aforementioned noble. Okay, I can see why. Uh -huh. And I can um, confirm the veracity of Bruce being in the noble pain. That's fair. I'm assuming you're not spreading around the other two. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. It's true, I'm so, a three-star general. The five people I've heard claim to, two of them were in my noble pings. I've told everyone that Bruce is in the noble ping, and I've told nobody that they were in the noble ping. That's fair. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I think Mel not, knows that. I mean, I'll just give you, I'll give you the same thing I gave Rez. Uh, Oracle or Innkeeper? Okay. Um, if you're the oracle, what number did you get last night? Uh, when a Navian, Navian apparently laid an egg. Okay, so that makes sense, because assuming that, I mean, Emma's kind of reading so good, I guess, I I'm not likely. actually confident. Whatever, the only way Emma's evil is that random, randomly demon kills minion or thank you, Jim. Okay, well, what's for me? Gibbo said general or noble, and I have the noble somewhere else. Okay, hi. Right. Yeah, and I was the general, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so yeah, Gibbo is probably evil then. Okay. So, probably a minion, but like, I still think we should clear me and then maybe just get Gibbo after that. Uh, that, what, that. That will get us down to six, we'll still have two shots at a demon then. Fair enough. That works for me. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Everybody's information is at least started the game sober and healthy. Yeah. Um, Demeta, question. How do you give general information? Um, funny you should ask. Um, that is funny, isn't it? As uh, Navian, Navian likes to call me a three-star general. I generally tend to give the thumbs up, the thumbs down, or the thumbs to the side. I've recently begun doing the slightly good, slightly evil. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it, though. Okay, okay. So that might check I mean, with son. What's that? It... I was just saying, it might track with Malishan's story. I mean, I can just tell you how I run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, Reznor and I were building worlds, and um, Malishan saying that they're a general that gave slightly good 
raised red flags to me because I know that you're were a three star general. I didn't. Yeah. I I I have historically been a three star general. Yes. However, I do like to change things up every now and then. That's fair. Yeah. So basically, so basically, what that means, Bruce, is we have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, that means is the storyteller isn't giving us that bit. Right. So we can't <laughs> rule out Malachan's Yeah, story. yeah. We're not ruling that. We're not ruling out Malachan's story. And if Malachan's story is correct, then that means the clockmaker would not receive it too. Yes. Okay. Spicy. Okay. All right. Earth is pretty slim right now, so I'll just say that I am the noble. Hello, Coming everybody. Any- you didn't need to pull me, Demeta. Jeez. <laughs> I always need to pull you. Uh, you get about 30 seconds, and then we'll open up nominations. Resnora will gossip that uh, there was a pit hagging last night. Ooh. Has anyone oh, heard God. of any outsiders? Mal- Mal- will gossip that Resnora's gossip is true. Has anyone heard of any outsiders? I've heard of a new one. I have yeah. now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, that is... Suspect yeah, we started with a drunken damsel in play. I've heard of a few huntsmen. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, I've heard of a huntsman. There's probably a drunk somewhere. Uh, DJ gossips <laughs> that the current in play demon is a leech. Bruce gossips the demon is Mullybach, Katie, or Justin. And Ryback gossips that Bruce is fucking naughty, naughty, naughty. I'll second that, Ryback. I got, a claim, I got a claim of drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how they would know that. I said in a two. Yeah. Nominations are open. Malishan nominates Malishan. Why? For the people I have not spoken to today, I was pit hagged into the barber last night. There is so much shenanigans that an evil team can do with a barber. When we get down to like six or seven players left, I want to clear this now. So worst case scenario, they confirm another good player by making a, a new barber somewhere. Do you have a defense? Kill me, please. We would need five for this to pass. Yeah, I really oh, want to kill wait. a minion first. There we go. I really don't want to kill a I also minion. don't want to get Fangu jump to. Yeah, it, I mean, pit ha- the, immediately pit hagging someone into an outsider suggests that, like, there either is a Fangu or they plan on making a Fangu. Well, I understand that Malishan doesn't want to get Fangu jump to. From everybody else's perspective, we're not getting rid of the barber ability if the demon doesn't want us to. Oh, and so, and, so somebody is going to have this problem every single day. Mullabug, I think there's a good chance Bruce is probably either a demon or a minion. I'm I down that vibe, Bruce. Bruce. I nominate Bruce. Sorry, Justin, what were you saying? Oh, no, nothing. Sorry, go ahead. You're just a little quiet. That's why I wasn't sure if you okay. were nominating. Got it. No, 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 you're good. Uh, sorry, was there a nomination that I missed? Mullabach nominates Bruce. Well, hang on. What did I do? I hit S. Oh, no. <laughs> Mullabach nominates Bruce. Why? I think I'm fine dealing with barbers, but barbers are way less scary after there's only two evils alive. If there's three evils alive, I really think that the script incentivizes you to just keep it in play until the mastermind procs. How do you feel about it, Bruce? Uh, I'm confirmed good. I'm the king. Uh, Bruce is claiming king, which obviously means nothing. Uh, we would need five. I was, I was, I didn't mean, I didn't mean it like that, Bruce. What I meant is like, it's <laughs> no, not like, I know, I know what you mean. I know what it's you not mean. like claiming goblet is what I meant. Um, we would need five to tie or six to pass. Bruce is definitely not the king. It's yeah, like, it's true. like chaos of some kind, but people. Seem I don't it's know if chaos. I'm chaos of any kind. I think I'm the king because I'm looking at the king. Token. My are you sure? Yeah, I was going to say, do we? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we want to tie it. Four is not enough. I'm just holding out for other votes, but Katie? I don't think now like Bruce is voting, so. Katie nominates Gibbo. Why? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you're not a golem. Katie, what's going on? Uh, Gibbo did a two for two with me and claimed roles that are elsewhere on the Grim. Uh, Gibbo? Uh, if I've spoken to you, I have lied to you about my role. I'm happy to uh, die. We would need five to tie, six to pass. This doesn't sound like killing an evil player to me. I tend to agree. I, don't. I would have much rather killed Bruce well, if you wanted to kill an now. evil player. It's not going to tie. Okay. Yeah. Or is not enough. If we want to kill an evil player, then why aren't we killing somebody who found themselves in a double claim so early? You mean like Bruce? No, Bruce is not <laughs> a double claim. Bruce is confirmed good. Ignore that part. Yeah. I've heard of another king, but... Who's the other king? They're lying to you. What I suspect is there's a drunk king on in play, and then 
a minion or demon Bruce who decided to claim king. DJ's gonna go with Katie. DJ nominate two? Katie. Katie, why? Um, I don't I I think Malshawn's good and I mm. don't really want to execute Malshawn right now. Um I think Katie's much more likely to be evil than Malshawn, and since we couldn't get on Bruce, I think this might be a better alternative. Katie. Uh I'm not evil, but Malshawn wants to die here and I talked to Malajan before I nominated Gibbo as an alternative, so I'm I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> That's simple. All right, we would need five to tie, six to pass. And the worst thing we. Bruce Katie. Yeah. So for anybody I haven't talked to, I'm the real king. I don't really care if other people claim king, but if Bruce is actually sticking to it, he's just evil. But I'm the king. Justin Final call. nominates DJ. Just nominates DJ. Why? Uh, another double claim. I've heard of a, a couple of what DJ is, and it sounds like the other one might have been more correct, which, I don't know, throws a gray area for me here. How do you feel, DJ? Um, I have heard of a double claim, and I don't mm-hmm. know who it is yet, but I'd, I'd rather kill them first. But I, I'm good. We would need five to tie, six to pass. A double claim or a noble claim? Double. Double claim. Okay. I don't like how there's like only one of the noble kings just kind of out there, and it's only painting me. I know the other ones. I know all of the other ones. Well, I sure would like it if other people told me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell Final you Final call. End of the day. In five, four, three, two, one. Malshawn, how would you like to be executed? Uh, buried in badgers. Buried in badgers? Yep. <laughs> uh, European or North American? European. Oh, we got the fuzzy cute boys. <laughs> uh, we take the fuzzy cute boys and they just cuddle up to you all nice and tight and snug and uh, they overheat you and you are cooked. And congratulations, town. You get to go to sleep. Oh, look at the cute badgers. Oh, they're so cute. Uh, okay, so it is now Mastermind Day number one. There will only be one. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. There will only one be one. one. Sorry, Emma. There will only be one. Okay. Um, first, let's go to Rez. Please choose a player. Baby. Thank you very much. Would you like to use your ability? I think I would. <laughs> uh, who would you like to target? I'm going to kill myself. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Honestly, that may be the best move. Yeah. Um, if they're not seeing a mastermind day coming, uh, if, if like I think Molly's kind of feeling in on some stuff there, and that's part of why he was pushing away from getting Malishon executed. Um, but yeah, if you're an assassin and you kill yourself, you're taking out one of the, like, an evil player from the living pool of players. So if there's likely to be an execution on a living player tomorrow, you're not it. Right. They just uh, need to avoid getting executed or anybody picking up what they're laying down and <laughs> deciding to not execute. Yeah, and this barber thing is now, th- th- they they need to decide, like telepathically what they want to do with this barber thing because they need to figure out if they want to continue the barber bullshit or if they want uh malishan to basically appear to have been evil and i don't know which way they're going to swing i don't actually i actually also don't know which one is better i don't know yeah so if they all right if they basically say that malishan is bullshit and that Malishan was evil, there was no barber swap last night. It suggests that there was no hit hag, which opens up the world more that it was an assassin, but that doesn't necessarily suggest that today's a mastermind day. Right. But if they if they go with the barber thing, if they continue this barber chain, hypothetically, if Malishan was the barber, if Justin claims to have been made into the barber and then killed... That suggests that it's not a fangu. This is very interesting. Yeah. So what do we want to give for savant info? That's what I have to figure out. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really want to give it's a mastermind day. It's not a mastermind day. 
I, I'm not I going to. I feel like I'm that not, one might be a little too flag waving. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just saying I want to do it. Um, we can't use yesterday's math. We we did we uh, Bruce actually did get info from Navian yesterday. Yeah. Um. Also, it wouldn't have been true anymore because Malishon is dead. Right. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. I I don't mind. There's a dead Fangu. Um. Because that can make it look like Justin jumped or Malishon was executed. Um. Or so Emma I think jumped. it leaves open. Uh. Or Emma jumped. Yeah. So that leaves open a few different worlds. So there's a dead Fangu. What about gossip as a demon bluff? Uh. Sure. Yeah. Uh, DJ's definitely looking sus to a few people. Well, so, it, again, savant info generally, there is a bit of info that's going to be good for good, there's a bit of info that's going to be good for evil. Telling Town that there's a dead Fangu suggests that there was either a Fangu jump, or it's a Mastermind Day. Yeah. Suggesting that there is no gossip just puts the sus on DJ, which I'm pretty sure evil wants, right? Yeah, I think right now... DJ Bruce and uh, DJ and Bruce are probably the two most sus good players. Um, and I think if Bruce comes out with gossip as a demon bluff, DJ's probably going to push on that because that's going to sound evil to DJ. So there's one dead evil. There are two dead outsiders. The the problem with that is that if there, mm, okay, so like you could uh, Margot, you could definitely go with that. I feel like that's going to push too far in the direction that it's a mastermind day because if there's one dead evil, oh no, I guess not. Well, it makes it makes either explicitly Ryback or Malishan look evil because there's no reasons for a good player to die at night except for a Fangu jump. I guess maybe it points to a Fangu jump from Justin as well, potentially. Yeah. But I think we should just go with what we've got. There is a dead Fangu or gossip is a demon bluff. All right, let's do that. Savant info is fun, guys. It's hard, but yeah. it's fun. <laughs> I think this gives them the exact amount of info that they could use if they figure it out to solve it's potentially a mastermind day but also leaving enough room open for evil to be pushing other worlds. Yeah. And we've also used enough time to make it feel like it could be a barber swap, a pit hagging, a fangu jump. Right. right. Yeah, so I feel exactly. Like we, we gave it enough time to be able to kind of suggest that. Um, okay, let's head back. Hello, town. It's chair pandemonium, as opposed to sheer pandemonium. It wasn't my best pun. Anyway, Justin's dead. Noms are in, let's say, seven minutes. Justin and Reznora, can we talk? Sure. Malishan, a moment of your time? Sure, let's go. Bing bang! Um, Kiwi Waste and Penguin Army Pa, thank you for the follows. Yeah. I missed that one earlier. Noble Pings, I lied to you on day one because oh. I don't, I, I mean, I didn't really feel confident claiming to direct noble pings to everyone in my noble pings so well i was the oracle you were the what oracle interesting and i got a zero the, it's one, a double claim. the one night i got information dude why it's a double claim yeah that, that is i'm pretty might not be a double Thanks, claim Nisha. but that means that Nosh. someone is in a double claim with two players i trust interesting hmm well, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, a certified banker. Mm, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my noble ping. Um, and if I was drunk, that's still true, or that's false. I agree. And then I just because Malishon is definitely good. Um, Gibbo, I think is reading very good to me, and obviously you. And then the leech thing. I mean, let's run a match one day, and I kill tonight. Chad? I don't know why you'd be dead though. Because I think you were likely evil. Just, just was likely evil. Anyway. And Agua, of course. Um, But yeah. I mean, we could execute Malishan, I get it. No. Actually, we do nothing. Can we just kill Bruce? Who seems is claiming evil. Master yeah, let's just Bruce. yeah, let's just kill Bruce. Yeah, let's just kill Bruce. Okay, thank you. All right. We reached the grandmother confirming each other as the grandmother. Gotcha. Do you know who the noble pings are or no? I do. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you you Bruce made it sound like you didn't want good. to know, and I was gonna. Uh, know, I didn't you know. want to know when I I didn't want them being publicly shared. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, with Noble, I would rather try to see Noble Pings tonight tonight because that's a better way to narrow down. Well, we got one of them. One of them's down. Yeah, that's right. Two are in. Yeah. I think I know which one's evil. All right. Thanks, Katie. Okay. The I don't think I feel, I don't, unless I'm the drunk, I don't think I killed anyone. Fair enough. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, I'm the Oracle. I have straight zeros. 
And by straight zeros, I mean gay zeros, but you know, uh, hmm. ambiguous zeros. Well, no, if they're coming, if I'm, if I'm, if they, they came to contact with me, thus they're gay. Oh, it's like, uh, it's, it's like, um, uh, uh, what is it? A like contact a, high? Yeah, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, okay. DJ, what were you saying? Um, so I haven't killed anyone, so got a assuming I'm people, right, though. and the, I assume I'm not the drunk, then I think we have a fang you imply. Okay, then they then they haven't jumped. Oh, I I could be. I mean, I can be drunk. I can be encapped. Um, I have not puzzle, heard. Of I don't. I have not heard of a puzzle master. You heard of an innkeeper though. Uh, so I've. N- I know. Look, no, I know. I know. Claiming that this month, after double claiming the king for two days while being a noble thing does not prove you're good, Bruce. It just proves you're changing your bluff. Yeah, well, I'm not changing my bluff because I talked to Resonora immediately after talking to you, and I hard claimed to Resonora that I was the savant, and I got information, and I kept getting information. So if I this, if what I'm is this? backing what into. Is this? If I'm backing into a savant bluff, then I have roped Resonora into that savant bluff that I've backed into since day one. Okay. Okay? Okay. Day okay. one. What's your savant information? Oh, I'm not even good at making up savant information, so that confirms me as good, too. One, there are no characters who started today drunk or poisoned. Or there are no characters in play who add specific characters to the game. So like Ooh. choir boy huntsman, Ooh. right? Yeah, I've heard of both those. So yeah. you're on the you're on you're on a dangerous path here, Bruce. Why am I on a dangerous path? That just means that the first one's true. <laughs> anyway, day two. There is one player alive that can cause another player's character to change, or a clockmaker would receive a two. All right, clockmaker. Too interesting because yes. there's a barber and a pit hack. I believe that. <laughs> now, day three, gossip is a demon bluff, or there is a dead fangu. Interesting. Yes. Now, doesn't that confirm me as good? No. Here's the problem with all that first. <laughs> no, there's is... no problem. It's good. <laughs> is the noble pangs <laughs> would suggest yeah. that Resnor is evil. Yeah. Wait, and she's buffing gossip. So wait, it's Resnora. Yeah. Resnora. You and Resnora are living yeah. noble things. Who, so that was the, just... Wait, living noble things? things so that means that Ryback, Malishan, or Justin were the other ones? Were yeah. you? Who's yeah. the other one? I'm not telling you, Bruce. Okay, because that's actually very helpful because it's a possibility that there's a dead Fangu in the game too. I don't want to think it's a Fangu <laughs> game. I want this to be a Of course you don't because case. you died in the night. <laughs> no, because I want this to be a leash game, Bruce. I want this to be a leash game. If not, I'm the innkeeper. Did you, did you fangu jump? You're the innkeeper, okay. Did you fangu jump to the drunk king? <laughs> no, I'm the innkeeper who is good. Confirmed. <laughs> confirmed good. Got it. Yes, I'm I confirmed have a grandmother. good too. I'm glad that, and I have the grandmother too. We're both grandchildren. But the problem is if you're good and resonant. Resnor is evil, then Gossip's a demon bluff. I don't think Resnor is evil. I think whoever the other person is might be the Fangu. I have enough kings in my game to make a nativity scene. Ha. Nominations are uh, open. After a serious discussion with Emma confirming me as good, I have decided <laughs> to share all the information that I have in town. Uh, I'm the savant, and here is my savant info. I can confirm that Bruce did, in fact, claim the bond to me day one. Yeah, but the two of you are in a noble ping. Yeah, so we both can't be evil. Rez, did you lie to me day well, one with your heart claim? Yeah, I lied to everybody except for, I think, Malishon and Bruce. Okay, that's fine. You told me the truth? I think so. Okay. Oh. Uh, if you told... Okay, so... Um, Mal- I know for sure Malishon knows my role. I've heard that there's a third... Noble ping that is dead. Be safe, Willow. My day three information suggests there's a dead Fangu. Yeah. In which case, I mean, the outsiders are hidden, and if there is a Fangu jump, they're not going to come out now. So 
Well, I mean, I'm just wondering who that third noble ping is because I feel like that information has been hidden specifically for me. Everybody else knows that and nobody's sharing Justin. it. Justin. Justin? Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, that changes a lot of things. Hold on. Second call for not second call for nominations. Oh, I thought you knew that. If Justin no, is thing here, which I don't believe, DJ is no, evil. We should yeah, we kill DJ. DJ. Oh, I think fully DJ. Oh, I think we should wait, hold on. I do still shame. But Maybe. I suspect either Bruce or Rosnora is evil. I'm, just I'm not evil. Good. I'm not evil either. I'm confirmed good. You're not I'm good. <laughs> Emma, we'll talk tomorrow. I have some information you'll find very interesting. You just gonna nominate Shade. Okay. DJ, nominate Shade. Tell me why. Um, Malachon's claim they're still the barber, so assuming that doesn't happen, the evil team has been swapping around. I think what will likely happen is we that Sh Shade and Justin were were evil together, and one of them was the Zarn Demon, the other one is the minion they swapped, so just to jump to someone, I think Shade is evil with this uh, Savant information. I think it makes a lot of sense with it. Shade? I mean, there's not, I mean, there's not much to say here. Um, last night, I was trying to just keep up that I was the Oracle. Last night, I was pit -hagged. I'm not going to say which outsider, but... But you were the starting Oracle. I was the starting Oracle. You can, Justin, I know you were claiming, or you, you know, I, I heard you were claiming Oracle, but we cleared that up, I believe, right? I was not the Oracle. Oh. That's very much, never mind, I'll wait till the vote goes around. We would need four for this to pass. Grace, I think you're good. In the three-way chat with Justin, myself, Justin, hard claimed Oracle. Yeah, they also spoke early day one, and then... Justin, yeah, do you want to actually clear things up or is enough shades on the block yeah so i was trying to get breeds on people um because i was actually the magician like i claimed to two people at the first day um which was weird but it didn't really get anyone to talk to me um so i tried switching it up because i was told that that was a weird thing to do and that didn't work uh so I don't really know what I'm doing now. Final call for nominations. Either way, I was not an Shade, outsider. Uh, Shade will nominate... Yeah. Should I... What do people think? Bruce or DJ? I'll give a... Bruce, DJ, I'll give a all good shout, I think. I just don't I mean, know which one. I need, I, need advi I need some advice from town here, because I don't know which. I Shade will nominate... I don't know anything about any of them, so... Shade will nominate Bruce. Tell me why. Uh, we seem to have come to the conclusion that Bruce is good somehow um i think there's perfect many perfectly good reasons to get false information um but i don't think that bruce is i don't think bruce is good i think bruce is someone who had to back down from a king bluff bruce uh if i was somebody who had to back down from a king bluff i would have had to have backed down from a king bluff immediately because i told resnor i was the savant on the first day on the second day i shared the information that I had received and started building worlds with Resnora. And then today I shared all the information that I had with everybody. So I was claiming King. That's fine. Whatever. I hard claimed Savant to Resnora on the very first today. So if indeed I backed into a Savant claim, then I wouldn't have claimed Savant to Resnora day one. Uh, DJ with a late juggle, by the way, one of Maya or Resnora is currently evil. I'll run the vote. We would need four to tie, five to pass. Meaning gossip. What did I say? It's juggle. A juggle. It's a juggle. You know what I meant. You guys know what I meant. So, well, Bruce, the the Justin Shade thing doesn't work. In order for yeah, because we know there's a there was a barber and oh, a pit so clockmaker would have to receive what it too. We don't they can't know. We don't there is enough know to that there's a barber or pit egg in play. We just tied that. Yeah, Shade that is that... off the block. Malishan tied the vote. We don't know that there's a barber and a pit hag in play. We know that somebody claimed to have had that happen. And another person who just got tied and lifted off the block claimed to no. have had that happen. So, Clement, okay. Vibak tied That's the vote. Fair. We had five on that, and Vibak dropped his hand at the very So, so we were expecting two dead votes on that. Yeah, that's what we're saying is, like, Ryback had to You were going to drop your hand, vote. Ryback. You should have dropped it sooner. <laughs> I'll give it I don't seconds. know why we're using two dead votes immediately. All right. right, Resnora nominates DJ. Tell me why. All right, we've we now have a tie 
Uh, so neither Bruce nor Shade are on the block. DJ is somebody who I've heard uh, is sus, come up several times in town between DJ and Gibbo. I saw DJ's name first, so let's just, you know. DJ? I have been actively trying to solve this game with people in Kahar competitions. You know I have. And I think I was dead on the money with Shade being evil, with at, with especially that out of nowhere lift. Um, I guess I'm abs- I'm fine. You kill me, but you are losing a good player at this point. I think I want to kill Katie. That is all I gotta say. We would need five to pass, or four to just tie three ways, and we like three ways in this server. I don't think Katie's the demon. For what it's worth. I think if Katie is evil, Katie is specifically a minion. I think with the voting shenanigans, it would be better to tie than execute someone at this point. One is not enough. That's fair. Yeah, that kind of... End the day in five. I also think that's fair. Three. Two. One. Consensual three ways are fun. Yes, Math, I agree. Um... Town is elected not to execute anyone, and I'm going to send you all to sleep. Night. Next game, because congratulations, the game is over. Well done, good team. Oh. Wait, Holy what? crap. That was actually a mastermind. <laughs> that was a mastermind. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, oh, wow. well done to the good team. Congratulations. Uh, here's how that game went, and I'm telling you, it was on a knife's edge. Just a knife's edge on that last day. Whew! Okay. So here's how the game went. We had Malishon. Your Fangu. Starting Fangu. Your only Fangu. Who, I will say, Mal, props to you for purposefully using the general bluff in a sussy baka way in suggesting that I would give... (laughs) a partially good when everyone knows that I am a three-star general and I go thumbs up, thumbs down, equal, even. Very chef's kiss, Mal. Chef's kiss. I loved it. Um, was sus enough to get themselves executed and went with the whole pit hag into a thingy thingy with Bobber. Awesome. Really great. Um, got themselves executed. Triggered Shade's Mastermind Day. Um, at that same time, Justin, your assassin, decided to assassinate himself to make it seem as though it wasn't actually a mastermind day. On night one, or sorry, on night two, Malishan attempted to kill Bruce, your savant, whose savant info was sober each day. It wasn't going to be sober, though, because Malishan actually targeted Bruce on night two, but they couldn't kill Bruce because Emma, the innkeeper, was protecting Bruce and Mullybach. So we were going to drunk Bruce. But DJ just had to go and ha- get a correct gossip on day one. So we had to kill someone night two, and we decided to kill Emma. So Bruce ended up being sober but protected. So B- DJ, when you said that you weren't going to kill anybody with your d- gossip ability, I'm sorry to say you were incorrect. Uh, The rest of the teams were Ryback, your damsel. Oops. Well done, Ryback, being a sussy baka, getting yourself executed. Uh, Bruce, your savant, as we said. Gibbo, your tinker. Oh, by the way, Gibbo's dead. (laughs) Mullybach, your king, who would have gotten info probably, well, not, wouldn't have gotten any info. Uh, Katie, your drunk choir boy. Damn it. Oof. (laughs) Uh, Justin, your aforementioned assassin, Shade, your aforementioned mastermind, and then the rest of the team is Resnori, your exorcist who attempted to exorcise Emma, and then attempted to exorcise Bruce? Katie. Who's... Katie, Katie. right. I was going around in order. Okay. And Maya, your noble, whose noble ping saw Justin the evil and Res the Bruce as the goods. And congratulations to the good team yet again. That was your pit hag barberless ver- uh, leechless version of Ozymandias I did it 35 minutes ago by Emma. Emma's incredibly mm. disappointed that there was no leech. <laughs> <laughs> you know, only so much cursing I can ask for. 